Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank, Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. First, I want to thank all those people who uh, uh, did the uh, super thanks. I really appreciate it. I was really pleasantly surprised. It, uh, I was a little bit uh, taken aback by it. Uh, so thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So this video is about the uh, chameleon impasse and can we deploy it in a, uh, by, through mobile, right? Uh, yes, you can. You can deploy the chameleon uh, impasse uh, mobily. Um, it's very surprising that you can, but the physics works out. Now, why would you want a, a chameleon impasse uh, mobile? Well, maybe you have one and, and maybe you don't have a, um, a screwdriver antenna and you want multiband. That, that might be something that um, might be useful for you. You cannot drive uh, the, um, the way it's configured, uh, the chameleon impasse with its 17 and a half or so whip. But uh, it's very compact. Um, it's, it really folds really nicely and it could be in the car and you can have multibands. Now, utilizing an impasse, um, you're going to need a tuner and that's what they recommend. My experience has been that there's going to be a lot of bands that you don't need to. Now, some people might say you will because they, you know I don't want something that's you know SWR two. I want it lower. Fine, you know. But if you think you know SWR of two or a little bit below that is acceptable, like me, I'm going for it. And why? Why not? Right? Uh, I don't want to carry another device, especially for like the IC705. And I want, you know, I don't want to carry a, a tuner. Um, and sometimes, you know, when I'm using the MXP50, the amplifier, I want, I want something that, you know, will resonate um, nicely without the tuner. So, you know, things to, things to consider. Now, if you have an IC7300 with, with a built-in uh, built uh, tuner, then um, that might help. Actually, that has helped for me when when I use the IC70, IC7300. Okay, so how do I deploy the um, the Mpass? And I might call it the Mpass Lite because the uh, Chameleon has a uh, an Mpass Lite kit, or the Unun is is different from the big boy. I don't know, but um, mine was I purchased mine as a Chameleon Mpass Lite. So the, the Chameleon, uh, the Anun, has a, um, you put the uh, coax cable on it. So that goes to your radio. Why am I saying that? Because you're going to screw the, um, the impasse, right? Usually you do that with the, the antenna already um, extended out. You screw it in right uh, and then you attach the coax to it the uh, I'm using the uh, tri mag mount a modified tri mag mount actually uh, from last time you saw it um, I modified it with the help of my brother-in-law he uh, he really helped me out in terms of uh, uh, tapping uh, some metal for me because um, I have to mod because I have ridges on the car so I had to adjust um, the, the magnet. And so now all three magnets are touching the uh, metal nice and flush. Anyway, the tri mag mount, of course, has a, um, a cable, right? I'm not using that. I just fold it up. Um, maybe it might be a good idea to unfold it and, 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 and like have it like maybe a kind of like a... Uh, a radio maybe I've checked it before it really doesn't make a difference but I could be wrong I know that if I extended it out I might be able I might be picking up some common current that might affect the radio so I just tied it up and le left it alone okay so 
a tri-mag mount. You can use a regular mount, a regular one uh, magnet to it. That works, because I've tried it before. Uh, but in this particular setup, we're, and we're going to look at the SWR ch uh, chart right now and see where it is. Um, so I have, um, <clears throat> and why three? Well, because, you know, it has more surface area and, and I've noticed that the um, SWR chart is better. But again, you can use one, one mag mount. Um, so three mag mounts, uh, tri mag mount, the M pass, uh, 17, 17 and a half foot long whip, and then the cable, which is right here. I got the cable. It's uh, and I positioned the 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 tri mag mount in the back. Does it make a difference if it's in the middle or the side? I don't know. There's not a lot of research on deploying something like this on YouTube. I think there's one or two peop two people that thought of it. I mean, that's wonderful. Um, I, you know, I was looking around and I'm like, okay, maybe somebody did do it. And they did, and it worked, but um, they didn't do any, like, uh, chart or anything or explain, like, what other bands are, are useful. So that's what I want to do. I want to uh, see if we can get that. So I got my PC here. I have my trusty uh, Rig Expert Stick Pro. This is really neat. Um, if you're going to do some, you know, build antennas or, you know, do crazy experiments like these, you're going to need one. <laughs> All right, so this is Rig Expert, uh, the Antscope 2. And right now, what I want to do is, uh, so the, you can see the this purple or lavender band. That's the first one on 7 megahertz. Then you have a very thin band near 10. That's the, um, that's the 30 meter band we don't we don't do anything there and then uh of course uh 20 meters the 14 megahertz now that of course we're always there right because that seems to be the one that really works out very nicely in the car okay let's look at the let's stop talking let's click on let's click on single let's see what happens uh-huh that's typical swr on round four that i can't do anything with the impasse but look at this it's going down going down going down going down keep going down nice very nice okay so over here we can see in the middle of the band on uh, 40 meters on 7 megahertz uh, SWR of 4 um, you know for an emergency you can you can definitely use that as an emergency I definitely wouldn't use it to, to, you know, like a, a, to do it, to use it for a regular use. I wish that was lower. It's not. And I haven't been able to lower it down, even if I have it on, on a spike with wires. Now, I, at home, for whatever reason, I think my ground plane or the, the, the dirt, not the ground plane, the dirt uh, from the home um, does give me an SWR below uh, three, like 2.4 or something, that's acceptable for me. Um, but most places, um, and even with radials, some people will put more radials and it just doesn't do it. I know what you're going to say. It says in the documentation, use a tuner. I get it. I see 7300 has a tuner. Okay, so that's not gonna really work very, very nice, but look at this. Let's go over here on on uh, 20 meters. Wow. Now that is not that bad, is it? SWR 1.95. That's good. Return loss at uh, almost 10 dB. Very nice. Uh, that's on one side of the band, but towards the SSB side, 186, uh, 10 and a half dB return loss. For those out there who are more knowledgeable on this subject, would be great if you can give us any tips on getting this, um, getting the uh, impedance up to 50 ohms. Um, but, okay, for now, for me, that's usable. I like it, and I don't need a tuner at the moment. Okay, so why don't we just go now from, uh, 
14, I'm going to do 1400 kilohertz, all the way down to um, 54, 55, right? 55, 55,000 kilohertz, which is the six meter band, right? Let's find out. All right, let's, let's click on single. Wow, look at that. Oop, it's going up. Then it's going to go down. Okay, let's see where it hits on six, me six meters. Wow, look at that. So over here, all the way in the end, over here, right? That is um, the 20 meter band, right? At seven, at uh, 20 meter band at 14 megahertz. Um, and then if we get over here, right? This is, uh, oh, 17, right, uh, meters, 18 megahertz, right, 1.3, and, re and return loss is 15.92. That's awesome. And look at that, the impedance, really nice, 54.79. So uh, if anybody needs uh, uh, 17 meters, this might be the way to go. And 17 is opening up a lot more, I've noticed. Aha, let's go to the next one. Next one is uh, 15 uh, meters, right? 15 meters is what, 21.26? Look at that, SWR 1.24. And the impedance is at 61. That's pretty acceptable. Very nice. Uh, I don't know what's going on with 15. Uh, 15. Let's go with the next one. Next one would be, uh, would that be 12? I think so, 12, 12 meters, 24 point, in this case, 24.93, right? 1.44 SWR, that's awesome. Return loss, 14.81. The bigger, the better. And um, look at that. That's very acceptable impedance, 46.13. Okay, now we get into kind of uh, a weird spot over here. As you can see, the trend here is going up for our next, uh, for 10 meters, right? 10 meters goes from uh, 28.3 to 29.7. As you can see, this trend is not pretty. At the end, we're at SWR 3.20, and at the beginning, we're at 2.62, which is a little bit high. Return loss at 6.97 dBs. And look at the impedance. The impedance is way too high, 130 uh, ohms. So using it in 10 is questionable. I've used it, I've used 10, uh, 10 meters with the impasse light on the ground and it seems to do a better job. Um, and now, let's look at six meters. Ooh. At the edge of the band at six meters, 1.25 uh, SWR with a impedance of uh, 40, and then the return loss, 19.22 dBs. Very nice. And then towards the end, uh, we got 1.91 1 SWR at at around 51.96 uh, megahertz. Uh, impedance, 34, right? Uh, return loss at 10, 10 dB. Wow. Uh, very, very interesting, isn't it? Now, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go from zero to, um, I don't know. I, I can't remember how far this goes. Does it go to 55? I want to look at all the way towards the end over here. This piece right here. That's the uh, 70 centimeters. Let's see if it starts dipping. It looks like it's going down, down, down. Keep going down. Oh, look at that. Very interesting. Okay, so right here on the top, we're at 2.6.
This is at 435 megahertz. 2.6 SWR, that's probably acceptable. Return loss, uh, 70 B, and uh, the um, impedance is at 25.38. But as you can see that, you know, on HF, it there's dips and valleys, and then there's a big rise, and then it starts going down again. So that was interesting, wasn't it? Um, that you're able to uh, get many bands, right? You're able to get 20, 17, 15, uh, 12 uh, pretty easily. 10, maybe not. But if you have a tuner, you're going to be fine, especially if you're not very comfortable with the uh, impedance being at whatever it was, 30. So here's another thing, too, that you might want to consider. When you're using your IC705 or your 7300, I would recommend using the um, SWR meter in there and just to get to see wh where the pattern is. I've noticed in radios, they tend to be a little bit different than that of the reg expert. Why? Nobody has really told me a good explanation, but I sometimes will see a difference and, and then shift it in a way that I'm not really comfortable with, especially with the resonator. I trust the IC705 to tell me what, you know, where's the sweet spot. So, you know, I can use the Reg Expert, get an idea of where, you know, where it is, and then I can use the, the radios SWR. Um, you know, the Reg Expert has a lot more information, and, and, and more and more I'm trying to understand. Like, for example, the impedance being at 30, how do I get to, uh, how can I make it better, right? Well, I got to look at the Smith's chart and, and, and figure out, you know, what exactly it is. And that's what, that's what uh, people who create tuners, you know, they understand the Smith's chart. And then, you know, they, they use calculations to figure out how to, like, m manage um, your, your impedance and your SWR. Okay, so I hope this video was informative. Um, and right now I'm going to test it, actually, um, and to see if uh, it, it uh, um, you know, if I'm able to get some contacts. I know I will. I've already tried it. Uh, I've, I've done it like three or four times already, uh, especially when I'm doing contests. Um, I get that range that I want in the different frequencies without changing the, the different Hustler antennas. Uh, so it will uh, definitely be a time saver. But, um, you know, if you were watching this video, that means it was very successful. Pretty sure it will be. I'm going to be using my IC705 in a little bit. Okay, so thank you very much again. Uh, thank you for everyone... Uh, supporting this channel. Uh, thank you again for those people who did the, the super thanks. I appreciate uh, uh, what you did. And uh, I hope to see you soon uh, or on air. Uh, this is uh, uh, Frank Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Bye-bye.